Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how I set up my Black & Decker portable washer for the first time. This is two of the three parts that you need to install before using your washer. And make sure that it has a rubber washer. And this is the part that I am going to attach to one of the water hose terminals. Remove the aerator from the faucet by hand or using a locking plier if it is too tight. Now install the quick connect and make sure that it has a rubber washer to prevent future leaks. If the quick connect doesn't fit in your faucet, you're gonna have to buy an adapter. I will leave a link in the description. I am going to tighten it with a locking plier since I am not planning to remove it anytime soon. And please remember, do not use hot water with this machine. Use cold water only. Only use cold water. Now it's time to grab the water hose make sure that the water hose comes with a rubber band or rubber washer in both terminals if the rubber is missing if the rubber is missing, do not install the water hose, otherwise it will leak water all over the place and that is something you don't want. And again, I'm going to tighten it using a plier because this is going to be permanent. I am not removing this, this is going to be permanent. This blue cap, do not twist it, do not break it, do not remove it. It's basically like an aerator or a filter. Just leave it there. Since this part is made of plastic, tighten it by hand only. Connect or plug in the quick connect. And make sure that it's nice and tight. Plug in the power cord. Turn on the washer. It doesn't matter in what order you want to add the detergent. It can be the first thing you add to the washer or it can be the last thing you add. I have tried already in so many different ways and it still works the same. As long as the detergent is inside the washer machine, that's all that matters. In this particular case, I did not add anything because I thought that I had detergent but I didn't have anything and wanted to make this video anyways. So now let's open the valve, remember only cold water. And make sure that it's not leaking. There's no leaking there, there's no leaking here. Now let's press normal mode. Using normal mode is the best way to save money in energy or electricity. Now let's hit play and it will start you will start filling water with water right away and again let's make sure that it's not leaking from here 
and let's make sure that it's not leaking from there either so everything is working perfectly so far so good You can pause the washing at any time so you can see how the washing is doing. And as you close the lid, turn the lid play again and you're ready to go. We'll continue washing. Once the washer completely stops, open the lid and there you go. You just did your first laundry. I mean look at this shirt, it's almost dry. You can just put it on top of a chair and just leave it there so it can dry 100%. But right there is like 85% dry in my personal opinion. And something that I really love about this washing machine is that it doesn't make any noise it's very very quiet if you live in a small apartment a second floor or any of those places that is so hard for you to get a regular washing machine this is the washer you need that is a lean trap and i clean it like every three loads and it takes me five seconds to clean now it's easier than ever. I open the lid, add the laundry and detergent, press the power button, leave it on heavy, press play, and I'm good to go. Thanks for watching, and thanks for watching.